Well, hey folks, welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Today I'm going to talk about how you can set up an off-grid power system anywhere. And I do mean anywhere. This is a system that you can use in the city, in your grid homes. Uh, you can use it camping. You can use it for an off-grid cabin like I live in here. Uh, you can use it in an emergency power situation uh, where you have a blackout and you need power to power some appliances to get you through a short-term blackout. Now, a lot of people out there are buying power stations. This is a power station, if you're not familiar with it. This is a Blue Eddy EB55 power station. It is a really good power station. However... Uh, for the price of this power station right here that has about 500 uh, watt hours of power, you can get twice as much capacity with a battery like this. This is a 100 amp hour life pole for battery for about half the price. And you can get an inverter because this has an inverter in it, but this only has a 700 watt inverter in it. So it won't run things like my microwave or any big appliances. Won't even run my vacuum. Okay. But it will, it's good and handy. They're good systems for what they're designed for. They're basically designed for camping and maybe a short term blackout to run a, just small appliances. That's what they're good for. But I'm going to show you how to set up a system using a 100 amp hour battery that will give you twice as much capacity and use a larger inverter so that you can run bigger appliances so that you can actually make it through a one or two day blackout. So that's what I'm going to show you in this. So stick around. I'm going to set this out of the way and show you what the equipment is that I'm going to be working with. Okay, so the battery that I'm going to be showing you here uh, is made by Go Kilowatt Hour or Go KWH is how they pronounce the name. And it is a 100 amp hour battery, which is about 1,250 watt hours, okay? It is a good size battery for a system like this because a battery like this will run all kinds of appliances, even large appliances like a microwave, and a, a battery like this will generally get you through at least a day of a blackout running most of the necessary basic appliances that you might need to run. Now this battery here uh, is also kind of special and I kind of like it because it does have an LED readout on top which you can kind of see right there if you push this button their battery actually tells you uh, the battery level and how many uh, watts are in, in this battery or how many volts are in this battery. It actually tells you that and that's built into this battery. A lot of other uh, LifePool 4 batteries don't have that feature so that's why I like this battery here. However, any 100 amp hour battery will work. Uh, a LifePool 4 is what I recommend because they have twice as much uh, capacity as any of the AGM or flooded cell batteries. Uh, they also can be drained completely down uh, without damaging the battery and they recharge faster generally than other batteries. So first I'm going to show you how you can set up a very basic and simple uh, emergency power system or a power station if you want to call it that or, or a backup power system just using a battery, an inverter, and a charger. Okay, and that's all we're going to use for this system. I will then show you how you can connect this up to solar panels because I got two brand new solar panels out there I want to put up on my porch roof and I will show you how you can recharge this for free from the sunlight and use it to run appliances all the time in your place and you'll have it for an emergency backup system if the power ever goes out at your house okay these will run you right around two hundred dollars if you look around you may even get them cheaper than that on special but right around two hundred dollars for a hundred amp hour life pole 4 battery now I'm going to be using a thousand watt inverter and this is an inverter made by power drive I am not trying to sell you on any type or specific brand of equipment here but I would recommend getting at least a thousand watt inverter and probably a 1200 watt inverter or 1500 watt inverter would be a really good size for this if you're going to be running any appliances like a microwave or anything like that 1200 watt is what I prefer this is a thousand watt but it will work with this microwave the other thing that you're going to want for this project is you need some way to charge up this battery now you can charge it from solar panels which I'm going to show you here but a lot of people don't want to mess with solar panels they don't have a place to put up solar panels maybe they're living in an apartment or they're taking it in a camper or they're going someplace where they want to use this where they just can't use solar panels so what you then need is a charger and this is a charger this is made by EnjoyBot this is a 20 amp uh, AC to DC charger and it has cables on it as you can see it's got cables just like you would jump start your car it's got red and black alligator cable and then it's got an AC plug on the other side of it and then it's got an AC plug and basically all you have to do is plug this into your AC outlet hook these clamps up to this battery and you you can recharge this now this is a hundred amp hour battery and this is a 20 amp hour charger so it's going to take how many hours 
just divide 100 amp hours by 20 amp hours, it's going to take five hours on AC to recharge this from empty to full, okay? And then it's ready to go and you're ready to use this with an inverter to run all kinds of appliances in your house. And you can recharge it up anytime. LifePool 4 batteries are very safe batteries. All you need to do is plug this in, plug the uh, charger in, let it charge up, and then it'll be ready for you whenever you need to use it. And you can use it for an emergency power system or blackout system. Now again, now this entire setup, this uh, 100 amp hour LifePool 4 battery, this is going to run you right around $200. You may even be able to find them cheaper somewhere else. Uh, this uh, charger, 20 amp charger, is probably going to cost you around 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Uh, the inverter, I would recommend a 1200 watt inverter. That's going to cost you right around $100. So you're looking at right around $350 uh, for a power station uh, that will get you through a full day blackout and probably longer uh, that has twice the capacity of that other power station I showed you for a lot less money. So that's what I want to point out here. This costs a lot less to do it this way than it does to buy a power station. And you also have the separate components. So if something goes wrong with a component, like the inverter goes out or the, the charger doesn't work, you can buy a new one without having to replace an entire power station. So that's really good too. The only other component that I would probably recommend for this system, this is for people that use DC uh, appliances, like I have DC refrigerators, 12 volt refrigerators. You can get one of these, and this is like a 15-foot cord. It has the alligator clamps on it, as you can see here, which you can clip on the battery here. And then you can plug in. This has two of those cigarette-type plugs on it. So then you could run any of your uh, DC appliances with a 15-volt cord. This is basically an extension cord for DC appliances. Really handy, and it also has a fuse in it. In case you get a short or something like that, you can just replace the fuses in this. Now, this is really easy to set up, folks. If you want to charge it from the AC charger, all you have to do is plug this into AC, okay, and then you're going to clip your red and your black, red and black alligator clips to the battery, all right, and that's all you need to do. It's plugged in, it'll charge up. If it's completely empty, it's going to take about five hours. If you've just used part of the battery, it will charge it up in however short a time it will take to charge it back up, but not very long, okay. Then once it's charged up, just take it off the charger. Now, the great thing about this is this battery is lightweight. As you can see, I can actually pick this up with one hand real easy. And it's small enough that you can store this in a closet or under your bed or any place. They're safe. They're not going to off gas. And you've got a 100 amp hour power station ready to go. Then when you need it, you need to connect up your inverter or maybe you want to have it connected all the time. But it's simply a matter of just connecting the cables from the inverter. And it will. And most inverters will come with the wires. And you're just going to connect this. And I'll connect this up to show you here because I'm going to run my microwave off of here to show you how it works. And all you do is put that on there like so. Now tighten these down all the way. I'm not going to tighten them down because I'll be taking this off. But tighten those down real good. Red, positive, black, negative. Connect that on there. You might get just a little spark. That's okay. And then connect that down there. Again, tighten those down good. I'm not going to tighten them down all the way because I'm just doing a demonstration here. But you should tighten them down all the way. Okay, so now I've got my red and my black connected to my inverter. I'm going to turn my inverter on, which I believe is down here. To show you, okay, my inverter is now on. As you can see, the lights. It will show you how much power I've got coming out of there. Now I'm going to turn my uh, connect my microwave to that to, just to show you that this will power a big appliance. Now you can see here, uh, this has an LED readout. It is telling me that I have 13.1 volts, which means this battery is completely filled up. That's about where it's going to sit between 13.1, 13.1 and 13.2 volts to show that it's full. And I've got the uh, the uh, microwave plugged in. And we'll just go ahead, and the inverter's on, so I'm just going to turn on the microwave. We'll set it for one minute. This is a pure sine wave power drive inverter. This is a 1,000 watt inverter, 1,000 watt inverter. And right there you can see my microwave. And now you can see it is running my microwave just fine, okay? This will run, this inverter and battery system like this will run anything up to 1,000 watts. And depending on how long you run it, it's not going to drain the battery very much, which I'll show you here when this shuts off after running it for one minute. We'll see how much of the battery it drained. Okay, so now you can hear the fan on the inverter kicked on. That's because it's cooling, cooling off the inverter. It got a little bit warm, and so it's just cooling it off. That's completely normal. My microwave is shut off, and now we'll see how many, if it used any power in here. In fact, the battery still says that it's at 100%. But it probably used maybe 5%, maybe not even that much. 
to run that microwave like that. So you can use this for running a microwave. You can use it for running all kinds of your cooking appliances, any small appliances, under whatever the watts are on your inverter. This is a 1,000 watt inverter, so it'll run all kinds of small cooking appliances, microwaves, uh, radios, stereos, laptop computers. And this also has... Uh, two USB ports down here and a USB-C fast port so you can recharge your phones, you can recharge your laptops, you can recharge anything that has a USB or a USB-C port off of these inverters. That is a basic off-grid power station or emergency supply station that anyone can put together. All it takes is a 100 amp hour battery, an inverter, like I said I'd recommend at least a 1000 watt, a 1200 or 1500 watt would probably be better, and you need the charger so that you can charge your battery up from AC. Then if the power goes off at your house, folks, all you got to do is hook up your inverter and you can run all kinds of appliances to keep your family fed, okay, uh, to heat up water uh, and do and run your laptop and your communication systems so that you can survive pretty comfortably over a blackout for a day, maybe even two days off of this system. So now I'm going to show you how this can also be charged up from solar so that you can use it all the time if you want to, so that you can use this all the time, keep it charged up from solar and AC if you still want to, and that way you have a double way of charging it up, uh, and you can use this for camping, for off-grid use, or at your grid-tied homes uh, to run appliances, and that's going to reduce your power bill. If you're running it off of solar to recharge this, that's free power, folks, that you could be using every day to be running all kinds of appliances around your house instead of using your grid power that you have to pay for on your power bill. So that's the next thing in this video.